Let us begin with that prayer <coughs> as we begin with the Gospel of Sri Ramakrishna. Tabu Katham Ritam Tapta Jeevanam Kavi Viri Ritam Kalma Shapaham Shravana Mangalam Sri Madatatam Bhubi Grinanti E Bhuri Dajana In this Panjamo Veda, in the Gospel of Sri Ram Krishna, He is giving us the knowledge, knowledge of spirituality. And in a very wonderful way, in a question answer form, Sometime Master Masha is asking question and he is giving the reply. Here in the beginning, as we are discussing for few more, some days, the three things he said, for every spiritual seeker, this is very important, he said, repeat the God's name, Japa. Repeating the name of God, this is very important. And we discussed for at length what is meant by Japa, how many varieties of Japa, how we should repeat the name of God, like that we have described, we have discussed about the repetition of name. Then he said, Holy Company. You have to spend time with the Holy Company. We were discussing in the last one or two classes who can be called as holy anyone may be claiming that I am a holy person maybe that he, he is wearing the dress of a holy person he or she but does it mean is holy who can be called as holy we were discussing that and there we find in Mahabharata which is a history come religious text. It's giving a wonderful account. Yo Natukta Yo Natukta Prahuruksham Priyamba. You never retaliate using harsh words to critics. Yo Natuktam Prahuruksham Priyamba. And again, neither express happiness, even being praised by his followers. Yo vanahato na pratihanti dhariyat. He never break the patience, even being hit. Papancha yo nechati dasyahantu. And this type of person who pra can practice this, dasyaha devaha. Even the gods will have the craving to have his company. So that means the spirituality, religion means the quality, wonderful quality. What is that quality? Control of the mind, complete control of the mind. And there is no reaction. When somebody is criticizing, he is not using any harsh words. Somebody is praising, he is not elated at all. Somebody is hating when, even then he is not losing his patience. And this we find in the life of Bhagavan Sri Ramakrishna. Those who have read the life of Sri Ramakrishna, they know there are some people, the pujaris, the, they are the priest. This priest they wanted to get money, more money from the landlord. And naturally, when the landlord, the Javidar, 
Mathur Nath Vishwas and Rani Rashmani, they became very fond of Bhagavan Sri Ram Krishna. This group of people became jealous. And they always wanted to criticize, not wanted, they criticized. They always wanted to harm Sri Ramakrishna. He knew everything, but even then he never said anything. One incident when we read, we become astounded how a person can behave like that. So much of patience. When somebody is hitting, he is not breaking his patience. Mahabharata is telling. And here we find the instance in the life of Bhagavan Sri Ramakrishna. He was meditating in a, a corner of a room. No one was there. Then one person, he was doing with some you know, charcoal, which is burning charcoal. The coal, you can say, burning coal. When he saw that this person is sitting over there, immediately his original self came out and he was rebuking him. Oh, you are pretending that you are meditating just to attract the attention of the master. Then he kicked him. Afterwards, he put that burning coal on the shoulder of Bhagavan Sri Ramakrishna, who was lost in meditation. So this afterwards, when he knew who is the person, but never said any word. Why? When everything, after many years, he was mentioning this to his disciple, he said, had I told that, Mathur would have caught his head. That's why I didn't mention anything. See, the description that we find in the scripture, in Ramayana, Mahabharata, we find that same thing in the life of Bhagavan Sri Ramakrishna. We find in the life of Ma Sharadamani Devi, in the life of Sri Swami Vivekananda, and many of the direct disciples of Sri Ramakrishna, those who are reading. So when you are reading the different type of Shastra, scriptures, at the same time, we have to read the biographies of these people also. Otherwise, we won't get the instances. We will think it is the only formula. It has never been tested. No. It has become manifested in the lives of these saints. And they were not of the Vaidik age. They were only recently they used to leave. This we find in the life of Swamiji also, that again we find in the Panchadashi, it is describing the holy people behave like father who even being beaten by his child do not become angry. Adhishipta tarito va balena sa pita tada sva pita, like the father. I was thinking that I will quote it on the father's day, but I forgot. The father means, father and mother means they are the personification of love and forgiveness. Forgive your brothers, forgive your neighbors as you are being forgiven by your father in heaven. And Jesus is telling, I, I can't quote exactly the words, this is the, <coughs> that he said. Adhishipta starito va balena sa pita tada na klishati na kupeja balam pratuta lalare. Even being bitten by his child, he is not angry, rather giving all compassion and love and care to the child. Nindita stumanova vidyana gaina nindati na stoti. Into the Shamsya Yatha Bodhas Tatha Acharit. Accordingly, they behave. When somebody is praising, he is not reacting to that. When somebody is criticizing, he is not reacting to that. But he is behaving which is necessary at that particular moment. To one of our Brahmachari uh, and some of our other brothers, we, I was also Brahmachari that time, we went to Dakshinesha. And seeing us, the Brahmacharians, one lady, maybe 
not so normal. She came to touch our feet. Being a brahmachari, it is very embarrassing to accept the pranam and that too from an elderly lady. And anyway, I stood and then she came and offered pranam and other three. But one brahmachari, he was totally declining and he started running away. And what happened? This lady, not being so normal, she got fun and she also followed running. So that is the reason Tatha Achare, Bodhas Tatha Achare. You have to understand the situation and you have to behave in that way only. Otherwise it becomes very difficult. So when somebody is praising, Oh no, no, I am no, I am not nobody, I am the dust of these and the, then the unnecessary creating some problem. One gentleman was there. The moment somebody is offering pranam or just greeting, immediately he will be telling and loudly, Ramakrishna Arpanavasto, Ramakrishna. How many times was Ramakrishna? Then afterwards, because he was very close to me, I could do it mentally. You don't have to shout like that. So this is also very, very essential when and how to behave. So person is so intelligent. A, a person who is a spiritual person is very intelligent. He knows how to behave and where to behave, etc. The Swami Vivekananda's life we find when he came to America, that was the first time he came and he in America. A few people we could know in Calcutta about the Britishers. The Britishers were there. So, but America was totally unknown. But the European style, European system, European way of talking, eating, nowadays they have become just not a, normal like anyone, anywhere. But in those days, using the fork and the spoon and then eating without sound, when you are take, using the spoon that should not make any sound, so many things. You can blow your nose while you are eating but should not belch. So all these things were there. The moment you are belching and our system is totally different. A person is full when he is belching again and again and the host is also happy. Okay. No, here is totally different. But Swamiji understood him immediately. Nobody taught him. So, so much intelligent. And when he was remote roaming over here, even in Detroit, many people criticized him in a very filthy language. And some of our, uh, the people from India, they were also trying to bring back names in the Swami Vivekananda. Just think what he did. He was trying to give good name to India. He never uttered the name of his guru even. Even then these jealous people could not restrain. And what was the reaction of Vivekananda? When the whole America was praising, he was normal Vivekananda. And when some people, a few of them, they were criticizing Americans and Indians, he was normal. So that is what Mahabharata is telling, Panchadesha is telling, and this is the holy company. Now where will we get holy company of Vivekananda Sri Ramakrishna? Not in person, but in teaching. When you are reading the complete works of Swami Vivekananda or the gospel of Sri Ramakrishna, we are getting the company of the holy, holiest of the holy. It's not ordinary holy. They are gods. And here we see how a holy company can transform in the life of Bhagavan Buddha, Angali Mahal. This Angali Mahal is a person who is to rob the uh, people and how many people he has robbed and killed, he is to cut the finger and is to keep that then and hang as a garland. So Angali Mahal is a garland of the fingers. He used to wear, he was a ruthless person. But in the company of Lord Buddha, he transformed and he became a saint himself. In the life of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we find Jagai and Madhari, the horrible character. 
but still these people when in, came in contact with Sri Chaitanya, they was transformed. In the life of Girish Chandra Ghosh, we find Sri Ramakrishna's blessings. He is getting transformed. And there is a beautiful story I heard from a very senior Swami long back in Advaita Ashrama. And Advaita Ashrama, our system is nine evening, nine o'clock, we put a, a dinner. And after the dinner, 9.30 to 9.45, 15 minutes, someone, some brahmachari or mom, they will read from the scripture. And then another 15 minutes, usually, we discuss over that. Somebody may be having some questions, some doubts, those seniors will answer them. And after that, and just normal, formal, informal discussions. There, our senior Swami used to come and stay. So many times I got the company of Ranganath Anandaji, Atma Anandaji, Bhashyanandaji from here used to go. And Advaita Ashram being the center in the Calcutta, they used to go and stay. And we used to get the company to, and the chances, opportunity to serve them, hear them. One senior Swami, not very famous like this, he came and he was telling, the effect of holy company. The, he was telling that one honey bee, it was moving and taking the honey from the flowers. Suddenly it noticed the almost like that honey bee, like him, another bee or insect is doing something. It's called dark bitho. Gubre Poka, as sometimes Sri Ramakrishna is mentioning about it. And the dung, dung beetle, dung beetle, and it's a removing and eating something. It went down and saw, because curious, it looks like me, to similar like me, but what he is doing? And he said, hey, why you are playing with the dirty things? It looked up and said, playing? I am eating. This is my food and I am carrying something for my children also, for my family. That you are eating, the dirty, bad smell thing you are eating, what? All my 14 generations are eating this thing, this is the dung, cow dung. And this, we, if this is the only food that we are having, then it say, my God, you have not drunk the honey ever? What is that? I never heard the name, it said. Come, I will take you to a flower and taste it once. Then you will see how much tasty this is. I cannot fly, it said. I will carry you. Then the honeybee carried that down with her and took to a, a nearby pond where lotuses were there. I, someone was telling, when I was giving the example of lotus, someone was telling, in America there is no lotus, is it? No, there is no there. Botanical garden. Botanical garden. There must be some idea of the lotuses. And not that every time you have to see, there is so many, Google is there, so they can search. <laughs> so the lotus and this bee took that beetle and dropped in the lotus, and it was floating on the pond, and asked him, you drink the honey from here, be here, I am coming completing some of my work and then I will pick you up and leave you back. It said, okay. The moment he started tasting the honey and it became so happy, it went on drinking, drinking, drinking the honey. In the meantime, sunset and the lotus closed and the bee came and couldn't find the fellow. What will happen to me? For me only, and he lost in one which flower it was. It was difficult to find. So he, the bee was waiting for the next morning. All the morning, there was nearby a temple, a Shiva temple was there. So that Pujari came from there, the priest, and plucked the flowers. And same flower in which that beetle was also sitting, he took that flower decorated on the Lord Shiva and slowly, slowly when the sun rises, flower opened and this 
Vitthal, he was hearing the wonderful music. Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. And drum beating and people singing, wonderful smell. And he was mesmerized, as, so as to say. And he too started repeating the name of Shiva. Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. This way the whole day passed. In the evening, again the priest collected all this used flower and threw it in the river. It was flowing. Now this our first Anipi, it went mad, crazy. What will happen to me? What a sin I have committed. I have taken him and put him in the flower. Now I couldn't find him anywhere. If he dies, then this whole sin will come on me. So when he was going on here, and suddenly he heard, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, who is singing in the river? It came down and saw this uh, dumb beetle clapping both the hands and singing Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, and floating. It came down on the flower, flower and said, You are singing over here, you know where the flower is going. You will die after some time. It is going and mixing in the ocean. This river is going to the ocean. Come, come on my back. I will fly and I will take you to your family. Then this beetle offered pronoun to the bee and said, You are my guru. You are my preceptor. You are my master. You have shown me the holy company. I have received the holy company. And now I don't like to go back to that filthy life. Please allow me to go to ocean. I like to be ocean. I like to be broad. And the last part of my life, I want to repeat the holy name of Lord Shiva that I have learned. So this way, a person transforms in the company of the holy. And we find the same thing happen in the life of so many. Then Sri Ramakrishna also stating Nirjan Bhash. Three things he said. First, Japa. Second, Hali Company. Third, Nirjana Bhash. Nirjana Bhash means living in solitude. We find here the wonderful couplet Satsangatve Nishwangatva. Nishangatve Nirmohatva. Nirmohatve Nishchala Tattvam Nishchala Tattve Jeevana Mukti So step by step First begins with Satsang The real holy company Who will give us the Encouragement To practice spirituality To strive to realize God To become broad minded to become holy. So this is called our holy company, Satsangatve. Then we become Nishangatva. Nishangatva means free from the worldly desire. Nishanga, no company. The company of what? Company of this is worldly people. Satsangatve Nishangatva. So he became lonely to his himself only reading good books, thinking on higher ideas and not mixing with the worldly people, constantly discussing about the filthy things. Nishangatve nirmohatva And then when he is practicing spiritual practices, all alone, constantly praying, constantly reading holy books, slowly, slowly his mind becoming pure and then he understand the folly of all this worldly life. Nirmoha, he is delusion free mind. His mind become delusion free. And from the delusion free mind, he achieves the conviction. Nirmohatve nishchalatattam. And constantly if I am having the doubt, as they call it doubting Thomas, Constantly having the doubt, oh, is there God? Is it true? I am practicing for one month, 
but nothing is happening what will happen suppose i don't don't get the realize god then i am losing this life also social life and at the same time not getting the god then there all this doubt if it is there no. but the holy company will remove the doubt slowly so nirmohatve nischala tattam god is there certain 100% no doubt I can't see, I can't realize that is my fault. But God is there. Then what will happen ultimately? Jivana Mukti is free in this life when he is leaving. Free from what? Attachment. Again and again the word will come in the Hindu philosophy, in the Indian philosophy, the moksha, mukti. Mukti means freedom. Freedom from what? Freedom from attachment. But it doesn't mean that we should not work. We should work. Whatever responsibility we have accepted, we should perform it properly, thoroughly, perfectly. And but without any attachment. Some people will obviously say, Oh, what a wonderful work you have done. And somebody will obviously say, for him only everything has been lost. And this is obvious. No one can go out of it. Bhagavan Buddha, Bhagavan Krishna, Bhagavan Sri Ram, they also were criticized by people, isn't it? So who are we? When people are criticizing, first we have to see that what he is telling. Is it correct? Then rectify. Okay, it's good. Some people showing through criticism that these are my mistakes. I will try to rectify. And some people unnecessarily criticizing. I should not lose heart. It's okay. If you are criticizing, it's good. So this way we find. But where from all these things begin? There we find the Bhagavad Gita. Sri Krishna giving a wonderful step by step. As you got the step by step. Satsangatve Nishangatva Nishangatve Nirmohatva Nirmohatve Nishchalatattam Nishchalatattve Jeevana Mukti And first, where from the bondage come? That answer is given by Sri Krishna in Bhagavad Gita. It's a unique that uh, slokas, in two slokas he is completing, almost Many people will be quoting it. What's that? Dhyato Vishayan Kumsa. Dhyato Vishayan Kumsa Shangasti Shupujayate. When longing for same subjects that generous inclination towards them. First, I see something. Then, the company of that particular object. I develop a desire to get that, to achieve that. Dhyato Vishayan Kumsa, the human being. The moment they are in a company of something, suppose in the Jadavas in back in Andaman, they have not seen the TV, so they don't have the craving for TV. And if you come to America, there is no small TV, all who use TV. In our place, Oh, black and white TV was sufficient in one small screen of 23 uh, that uh, measurement. 50 children will be looking at that. I don't know what they see, whether they can see or not, but they are so happy watching TV. Saturday is the day for the TV for the children and they will be all waiting for the Saturday. So that way, longing comes from where? Comes from the company. The moment you start thinking about that, Dhyato Vishayan Kumsha Shangasteshu Upujayate, it arises. And then Shanga Shanjayate Kama, desire to achieve that, desire to get that, it comes. Shanga Shanjayate Kama, Kama Krodha Vijayate. And from the desire, anger is coming. If I don't get, I become angry. 
at the subconscious mind there is a desire and when it is not fulfilled I get angry I go mad so that is way he is telling them krodha bhavati samoha this moha is a very important word this deluded this is moha and samoha completely deluded he forgot everything krodha because of the anger so much of desire to get there samoha samoha smriti vibra he forget all that was he he learned that was taught to him people told him and he forgets everything samoha smriti vibra smriti bhamsha buddhi nasha then his decisive capacity is lost samoha smriti vibrama smriti bhamsha buddhi nasha then buddhi nasha pranashyati he is totally destroyed so that is the only thing we have to understand otherwise one uh what's called the dog was there i think the story and the they the husband and wife they left a small child was sleeping so they went to the neighbor home thinking that the child is sleeping it's okay and the dog was there taking care of the child it was a pet suddenly there came a snake and dog fought with the snake and killed that snake and in that process got a lot of you know blood on on his face and then he came running out to meet the master at that time the gentleman and the lady was coming back they saw the dog in that condition the whole mouth mouth was stained with blood immediately the gentleman thought he must have bitten my child killed the child and we doubt waiting for a minute to come inside and check he killed the dog over there and came in and saw the whole thing the child was totally untouched and the huge cobra dying lying over there dead because of the dog so the moment we are angry we forget everything for lose our patience and that creates this problem so this is why anger generates delusion and from delusion we lose our memory loss of memory brings destruction of this people and we can get that classical instance helen of greeks and the prince of the troy it came saw the lady she was not a princess uh, she was a queen even then just being in company of that lady all these things happened troy was destroyed and he brought the destruction to all the rest his country just because of one desire so that is the classical in uh, we can say the instance of this buddhi nasha pranashyati and that is why kularna tantra emphatically is telling this nishang eva mukta syat dosha sarve sangaja nishang eva mukta syat if you are not with the company you are mukta i don't have any desire for anything you are free the moment you have that you have the bondage you cannot leave it bhagwan sri ram krishna is telling one lady was having no one she was free she could give her whole mind to god in state she started loving a kitten and she was so engaged to look after the kitten and slowly slowly all her time was spent for looking after the kitten couldn't even think for a moment to god she was having that opportunity couldn't utilize it so this way one should be very careful any 
Shanga that creates the Nishanga Eva Muktasya. Bhagavan Sri Ramakrishna said, if you have to keep your mind on God, you need to practice Japa, you need to go to Holy Company, and then you have to practice in isolation, Nirjana. And this Nirjana, free from only thoughts and company, you are totally free. The moment someone reads, and they will be giving some information that happened, this happened, this thing, that thing. And I went over there, somebody told about you. And unnecessarily, our mind is part of, disturbed. That the, when I am sitting for meditation, I can't meditate. I can't put my mind on God because those words are reacting within my mind. And Lord Shiva is teaching us Tajjate Tajjate Sangha Sarvata Tajjate Brisham You must be very very careful about your company. The what are the people all around you? What type of talk you are discussing? What are the subject you are discussing? You are talking. Because every word that you are uttering, you are speaking, you are listening, are giving an impression on your mind. That is important. You are not just, just like a child's, uh, we, are, uh, we are just talking something and then forgetting. No. Everything that we are speaking, that we are hearing, it is on our mind. And that mind only we are utilizing for realizing God, to reach the holy place. So that's why Tajjati Tajjati Sangha Sarvata Tajjati Prisham. How it is possible? If we don't have the company, then we will feel so lonely. In the modern world, the problem is only one, loneliness. And in Japan, some of the people, they will hire because the children, they are all engaged. So the elderly people, they will be hiring the daughter-in-law, son, all this, they are coming and acting as a son, acting as a daughter-in-law, acting as a a grandchild, like that only. People like to live in the family and they are hiring this type of people. There is a story that I was reading in for Japan. So these, there are some people are earning money by reacting like this way and they are so happy. Why? I need some company. I cannot live without that. And this company, if you are having the company of God constantly, 24 hours you are repeating the name of God, then majority of your time you are spending in puja, in reading scripture, in meditation. Do you need the company of other people? So, Tajjati, Tajjati, Sangha, Sarvata, Tajjati, Visham, Annatahi, Lavin, Mukti, Satyam, Satyam, Mayoditam. Shiva is telling, Shiva Shamhita, I am telling you the truth. I, the Lord Shiva, telling you the truth, unless and until you are away from this worldly company, you can never realize God. Give up, give up the company of the worldly people. Otherwise, there is no freedom from this worldly life, birth and death, pleasure and pain, no question of God realization. So this is spiritual life. When you go to the holy people, when you go to the temple, when you go to the churches, mosques, synagogue, these are the things we are supposed to learn. And then when we are transforming the devotees of God, we are becoming holy company for others. The devotees of God are constantly ready to help others, constantly ready to love others. Constantly to, ready to bear the problems of others. That is the holy company. And that holy company always encouraging me. Wherever I am, people who are get, getting the company. When I go to those people, when I see their life, naturally we also feel like in doing that. On the early morning in the Belur Mart, at about 3.30, 4 o'clock, everybody got up. And by before four, all are there inside the 
big hall, prayer hall of Sri Ramakrishna temple. All the monks and brahmacharis, they are sitting. Some of the devotees who will be there in the guest house, they come from far away. Early morning, they will get up, they will bathe, they will come to the temple, they will be there. And in the four o'clock, when the morning arati is going on, hundreds of people will be there. How can you lie down? How can you sleep? Naturally, you will feel the, oh, so many people there in the temple. I cannot waste my time. So you will also feel, that is the holy companion, indirectly helping you. Nobody told you. There is no system that you have to get up and go. Otherwise, you won't get uh, the chance to stay in the guest house. No, there is nothing like that. You are free. But at the same time, you get this inspiration. You go over there in the early morning. You see, nobody is talking. All are almost the half closed eyes, taking the name of God. They are going from temple to temple. They are sitting by the side of the Ganges, offering pranam to the temple, praying quietly. By seeing that, other they get inspiration. This is called satsanga. This is called holy companion. We go to the temples to get this company, to get this inspiration. Not for the quality and the beauty of the place. It may be beautiful, that's good. When the God is there, it must be beautiful. But this is the companion. And in Mahabharata also is telling the same thing as Sri Ramakrishna is telling Nishanga, loneliness. Shanga Sarvatmana Tyajya. And suppose you are having a company, they will be going on talking. See, this early morning, they were doing like this. All monks, they belong to Ramakrishna Mission. They, every day they attend this prayer. Why they are not allowing us today to go to the forefront? The monks are supposed to be there back. And he will go on or she will go on criticizing or giving his or her opinion. Of course, very, you know, and almost whispering. But your mind will get contaminated, agitated. I saw one lady going on complaining. And we were all, I, I was there alone. Whenever I go to Calcutta, I used to go to the Kali temple at Dakshinesha because Sri Ramakrishna worshipped puja. And, and that Dakshinesha is a, in a laboratory where a human being transforms into a god. We don't understand the greatness of the place. We go and we, we went over there and stood and then, of course, inside the small temple, so many priests are there and priests are priests only. Every day they are there, so obviously not so much of attention and they can't, so pressure is there. So they, they are moving, it's so difficult to look at the mother as an image. Because somebody will be standing over there, somebody will little moving and all like this. This lady was going on shouting, why you should be inside there? We can't see the goddess. And, and look at that, those who have given little extra money, they are allowing them to enter and this is not good system. And then it is so difficult to concentrate. Things are like that only. Wherever you go, it will be like this only. If you have a lot of money and influence, White house door will be open unto you. And the main person of the white house will be waiting at the gate to receive you. Or, or otherwise, as we went to see the white house, from I think two kilometer distance, we are seeing at the white house. So who will receive us there? It is not possible. Hundreds and thousands are going every day to. So like that only, everywhere it is there. And what we have to do? Only praying, praying, praying. Oh, mother, I am so happy. Thousands of people are coming to you. My mother, she is the goddess of the whole universe. Look at it. So many people are coming and offering pranam to, and offering pranam to my mother, mother of the universe. And then, if I look, a glance, if I get, I am happy. Let others see. I am happy. So that way, Sangha, Sarvatmana, Tajja. So this type of company you have to always remember. Sachit, 
त्यक्तम न शक्य दे बट इफ यू कैन नॉट यू हैव टू हैव यू नो समाइम वी नीड सम फ्रेंड्स और रिलेटिव सम कंपेरी टू गो टू सम प्लेस इज ने वी कैंट गो ऑल अ लोन but suppose in that time if, if you are if you can't be alone and after reaching over there you say the contract is we will go together but after reaching the temple or the ashrama i left to myself and you are to yourself and now when we come out of the ashrama again we will be coming together discussing so otherwise i cannot pray i cannot concentrate Like that, I cannot do the japa. So he is telling, "Sangha sarvatmana tachya." One should not have any company. But if one cannot avoid, then sadvihi saha prakur bhi ta satam sangha hi beesha jam. Then have the company of a holy person, because in this worldly life, the company of a holy acts like a medicine. and he will be telling you like this don't look at that or don't do this don't think about that don't try but here it is very difficult everybody is so individualistic it's so difficult to give any advice so, so anyway suppose we practice to obviously the uh, my company the person who is having my company may get inspiration that's okay so that way we have to practice ramana maharshi he was all alone one can be alone but at the time what type of mentality like the ramana maharshi as a young age he came all alone so suddenly one should not try to practice loneliness then it may bring imbalance don't try so this moment it is better for us to have satsang and satsang means the devotees talking about among themselves talking about the puja talking about the ashrama talking about a holy book i was astounded coming over here many of our devotees they are engaged reading someone's mahabharata someone is gita someone is bhagavata these ladies can enjoy there are so many places to go instead all the small small group are there some geeta some bhagavad group some these and that and the moment they are getting any swami they will be having his company listening to his talk living in america this is great and so much of temptations are there so much of availability of things are there what the things are there but still many people they are having this desire that means in the past life so much good work you must have done that is why these otherwise it is impossible people will get all time for everything except constantly from inside they won't get the inspiration to come to any holy company and if they go to temple they will go to attend some function not for god and sometimes some people will come and say i was just passing through then i remember that you were here so i thought let me drop it how you will feel oh it's not for me he came only spending some time with me just because he is having some time that's why but if he says i came only for you similarly when you come to god and say god i have come only for you I want to see you. I want to talk to you. Whether there is a so many car will be in the parking lot or so many people, I don't care. That is up to you. If the God gives the call, then everybody will be forced to come over here. It doesn't matter. But you have given the call to me, O oh God. I am so fortunate. And you are waiting all alone, only for me. in a ravindranath is telling tai tumar anando amar por tumi tai esechu niche amai noile tribhuvaneshwar tomar prem hoto je niche so i am a devotee 
unless i was there what do you doing god you are all leela you are all divine play will be lost if i am not there so you have come down to me for me uh, for me only so that is the pride of a devotee and he is or she is coming and sitting and playing talking with the god so this is holy company adarshanam asamsparsham tatha sambhasanam sada yashya bhutai saha mune sasriya bindate param in mahabharata we find narada is telling to shukadev and he is telling one who is not having anyone or anything to see adarshanam asamsparsham nothing to touch and nothing to talk with and that is the highest position this is here all this negative that they are telling about the worldly object not about god i have my god to talk about talk to uh, to with god i have got to see when you are meditating just imagine the god is sitting putting his leg on this floor and i am just putting my foot forehead on the feet of the lord getting the feeling of that and the moment the vishnu pada the holy feet of lord i am touching all my body is becoming pure there's no other thought but of god quietly seated and try to imagine that the mother is standing at your back and putting her hand on your head you are crying to mother why i can see you why i can feel you why i can talk to you i know you have so many children i am also one of that so this is the i don't have any object to touch object to see object to talk but i have god with me so this is the thing we have to remember that here is a scripture the negative thing is given is only positive about god avoiding the company of the holy <coughs> worldly comfort and company the spiritual seeker should feel the heart and mind with the thought of god thought of brahman and that is exactly why we find the teaching in the bhagavad gita there is nothing negative remember it is positive why lord sri krishna he is telling in mahabharata in other other places it is there but to clarify that it is nothing negative lord krishna as if telling moicha ananya yogena bhakti abhyavicharini bibhikta desha sevitam arati jana samsadi a very simple way ananya yogena non separateness constant union with the serene and the sense of unity ananna yogena and constantly i am feeling god is with me is walking with me talking with me looking at me eating my food and when i am sleeping god is also by my side he is also there you are only thinking you need not to go and tell the whole world you need not to go and announce to the neighbors you only know within yourself and you are in joy so ananya yogena and then abhyavicharini bhakti unswerving devotion i don't if i go to this place that place this person that person this god that god then what happens nothing wrong only thing my strength of mind loses when you are concentrating on one thing it's very very powerful when the sun light is falling on the earth nothing happens but if you put through the a powerful huh? magnifying glass it can burn so the magnifying that taking the power of god in one mind and concentrating in one place that's why they say ishta nishtha ishta nishtha means this it is not like ki stardust na the some uh, 
shop, shop everywhere. Oh, this shop prepare coffee. Let me taste. How is the coffee? Then that shop actually let me. It's not like this. Always changing the mind won't help. But I am not asking you to be narrow-minded, criticizing others or not loving others. No, not at all. But istunista means Sri Ramakrishna is explaining. When a girl is coming into in-laws' house, she is having the relation with the elderly people, father-in-law, mother-in-law, brother-in-law, sister-in-law, all different type of relations, but she is having a special relation with her husband. So that is called Ishtanishtha. All the kingdom of, all the realm of God and goddesses. My God or goddess is this. That's called Ishta. But I am not denouncing others. I love them. I bow down to them. I care for them. But my Ishta. So this is a Abhavicharini. And Abhavicharini to whom? With what? Me, to me, the God. Vibhito desa sevittam. And you must be in a solitude. Vibhito desa sevittam. If you take the positively, the loneliness, the solitude, in a positive way, we get so much benefit out of it. And if we can't do it, then we lose our balance, mental balance. <laughs> so this is the way Arati Jana Shamshadi and at the same time avoiding, shunning the company of the worldly people. And if we are going, sometimes it is, we are bound to go. We are in such a, dip, uh, in a position, I have to go and talk with these people, mix with these people, having the, naturally so many other type of people, then that you have to remember. Haji haji karte rahiyo, baitha apna kaam. And some people will be telling you, no, there's no God at all. Like immediately you have to smile, oh, do you feel like that? It's good, you have a strong mind. That's all, have I? And this way only, slowly, slowly, haji haji kar. If you go for an argument, it will be difficult, you will lose the friendship, you will lose the many other problems and those who are in business cannot do, do that. So this is the way. So Sri Krishna is teaching us, giving away the bad company, accepting God, holy presence and company. And then in our next uh, discourse, we will discuss about the monam, how to practice silence. This is very important, practicing silence. You see the goddess Kali holding the tongue. This is very important. Sometimes, of course, I can't practice the silence, you know, I'm a very talkative person. So, whenever anyone was, I'm so happy to talk to him. But the, my problem is, with whom I talk, I forget. And then next time, the person will be, of course, very closely I can remember, but suppose once or twice they have come, we forget the names, and then they will be uh, contacting and say, Swamiji, that day we came, talked about you. Oh, is he? That's, uh, that's good. <laughs> Somehow I have to manage because there's a problem to remember. And I was feeling so shy about it. So how can I, I can't remember. But then I found one gentleman, he was there in Andama with me, the elderly person. One young lady came and addressed him as uncle. Uncle, you were here for such, such a long time, I didn't see you. Oh, how are you here? They were having to talk. Then after 15 minutes when the lady went and they asked him, who was that? I don't know, Maharaj. <laughs> <laughs> as she addressed me as uncle, that must be known. So I talked with her. So like this only, Arati Janasam Sati, we are talking, we are mixing with people, but not attached with them. We are not taking seriously all the things in our mind. You cannot avoid. You, we are in the society. We have to talk to people, we have to mix with the people. Different type of thought waves are coming and touching the mind. What we will do? And this way, so we will, after we will see how Manu Maharaj and different uh, Yoga Vashishta, they are giving the teaching. 
Mona. We have to practice Mona. And what is that? So, this Katha Amrita, Katha Rup Amrita, is the nectar through the words. Tabha Katha Amrita. Tapta Jeevanam. Only for those, they will only feel it is real good thing. Those who have tasted the life, as they call it, the burning of life, tapta jivanam. How do you know? Because the realized people, kabhi viriritam, the realized people, they have said this. From their realization, they are telling, kalma shapaham. It removes all the sin, all the weaknesses, all the narrowness from the mind. When you read the Kathamrita, when you read the Vachanamrita, when you read the Gospel of Sri Ramakrishna, this every word is so correct. And this sloka was written for Bhagavata. But from there, Master Masha is quoting, and it is everything is so perfect. Sravana Mangalam. If I can't read even, when you, I am listening to it, that is also beneficial to me. Sri Madhatatam Bhavigrinanti E Bhuritajana. Those who are really very pure minded people for their good actions, they only can appreciate it. Those who have already achieved the some you know, advancement in spiritual life, then only they can appreciate it. Otherwise, people won't be appreciate. So here, this is the Tapagat. Now, we will recite the Pranam Mantra of Bhagavan Sri Ramakrishna. Nira Anjanam, there is no stain. Nityam is eternal. Ananta Rupam, the same God is having so many varieties of images. Bhaktanukampa Dhrita Vigraham If God is such, why he is taking that this image? Because he is a lover, very, very compassionate for the devotees. Isha Avataram Paramesha Mityam. You are the, um, you are God yourself, Paramesha. And you have taken the shape of Sri Ramakrishna. I bow down to you. So this we will quote. Niranjanam Nityam Niranjanam Nityam Anantarupam Anantarupam Bhaktanukampa Bhaktanukampa Dhrita Vikraham Bhai Ishavataram Ishavataram Paramishamidyam Paramishamidyam Tamaram Krishnam Tamaram Krishnam Shirasthanamam Sweet.